Hello friends, welcome to my channel and today uh, we're gonna continue our SSL VPN topic. Uh, in the previous video, we have seen uh, clientless SSL VPN on uh, Cisco ASAV. So how we can configure clientless SSL VPN gateway uh, on Cisco ASAV as well as what is the concept behind Cisco uh, clientless SSL VPN. Today we are going to see what is port forwarding. What is the concept behind for port forwarding as well as how we can configure AS, Cisco ASAV as port forwarding gateway. So I'll request you guys to please watch this video till the end so that you can get to know how we can configure ASAV as port forwarding gateway and what is the concept behind it. So I'll request you guys to please subscribe my channel for to see these kind of videos and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload any video you'll get notification and without any further delay let's get started. Hello friends, so uh, to understand the concept of port forwarding, we need to understand uh, first a scenario. Let's say this PC is not owned by the organization, not owned, okay, and some user is sitting over here and want to access this server on let's say he want to do SSH or he want to do a telnet okay so what happens is If you configure SSL gateway to do a port forwarding, this user first he will establish a SSL connection to this ASA machine. After that, he will be listening to a port, some random ports. Okay, uh, something like that, uh, like two one thousand two hundred and. 20, uh, to 228 okay so the user will do a telnet on this port number this in turn redirects to this server so you don't need to do direct telnet to this server as you are not authorized on this PC so once the SSL connection get established the PC will listen on this port number once you once the user try to access this port he take those information and send those information or redirect those information to the server so that you can you will be connected to this server and do your job so this is limited to some tcp connection even it doesn't work with ftp connection as cisco has already recommended this so this is what the concept is uh, for port forwarding ssl vpn so friends, uh, now we are going to log in to uh, Cisco ASA and we'll try to configure port forwarding. So first and foremost thing is we need to define WebVPN. We need to enable it on the port number as in the last video we have done it on double four double three and we need to enable it on outside interface now here we need to 
define quote forward we need to give a name okay and a random port i'm just taking 5565 to our server that is 10.1.1.1 dot one on telnet and we are just creating telnet group list for this webbp now the second thing is we need to define an access list to allow that connection permit tcp any is equal to tell it so whoever the user is he will be able to tell it to this server okay it should be tell it or you can type it as 23 okay so after doing that you need to define a group policy group policy web vpn first internal then we need to define the attributes vpn tunnel protocol ssl clientless then we need to go inside of the web vpn filter value we need to give so we value is web vpn the access list name and then we need to define a port forward name we'll define a port forward name as uh, port okay and it's not mandated mandatory to give the name you can also define so uh, we have got two options okay first is auto start and second is enable so auto start once you log in the application automatically runs it will get connected and you will be able to tell it it okay so i'm just doing the auto start and we need to give uh, that name talent okay and the last is we need to call it under tunnel group so tunnel group web vpn type remote access and then we need to define the general attributes here we define the policy the same policy and then we need to define the web attributes that we are going to see now web vpn uh, enable okay this is uh, uh, this configuration i'll be putting in the description so that uh, there will be no issues for you guys you you can easily configure it you can refer this okay so now we need to go to https 200.1.1.10 double four double three okay after that you need to okay uh, we have not defined the username and password or we have already defined i'll just check that it will be same uh, but for this time what you need to do is you need to go to usernames attribute and we need to define the port forward name that's it nothing else apart from that we need to type the username and password so once you do that see 
port forward has started so it it will get loaded it will get uh, what it does is right now is it actually listens your pc will listen on that port i'll just show you see locally it is listening on 5565 so once you connect to 5565 it redirects to 10.1.1.1 on port number 23 i'll just show you how i'm saying it this so go to cmd and type net start minus an find your 5565 so if you see that you are listening on the spot okay so so you need to correct to 27.0.0.1 dot dot this is a telet connection on port number 5565 once you open so you'll be logging to the server show ip interface brief now you see so listening on this establish the connection already okay and if you see here the bytes which goes out and comes in you can see that if you just so it is getting increased now so we are connected to the server on this port number 5565 so you will be having an idea what is the server IP address but you you will not be able to connect directly you need to connect to your locally what does local do, does is it encrypts the traffic and send it to to the firewall firewall decrypts it and send it across to server so if it is if it is other pc they will not be able to trace you that to which ip you are connected if you connect it to 27 it is a local ip address nobody will come to know so once the this information pass it out outside of this pc it will be encrypted and as this is a ssl connection uh, once this information goes out from the pc it will be encrypted till asa after that it will be decrypted uh, and sent to server so this is what i wanted to show you guys and i think it will be helpful for you and i just wanted to ask you guys that uh, it's a request please please provide some feedback about my video i just wanted to know that whether uh, whatever video i'm uploading uh, is that informative or it it is not and what kind of videos you guys need just comment in the video so that i can work uh, on that that kind of videos and uh, i can come with that video uh, and video regarding that topic so thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and support me